Hi there! In this video we will look at how to paint figures in watercolor. Having human figures in your watercolor sketches will improve your paintings a lot, because they will become more dynamic and full of life. Before we start painting, let's look a bit at the human body proportions. An important thing to notice is that, for an adult, the height of the head will fit around 8 times into the total height of the body. It doesn't have to be exactly 8 times, but sketching the figures close to these proportions will make them look more real. Another thing to notice is that, while walking, the hips and the shoulders twist in opposite directions to maintain balance. The figures will look better if they are more dynamic and seem to be walking. I've separated this video into two parts to make it easier for you to follow. In this first part, we will sketch a few figures walking around or just chatting in small groups. In the second part, we will look at how to sketch figures with umbrellas for rainy days scenes. I start with a simple area for the upper body, except the head, tilted towards one side. From this area, we can now extend two thin lines to suggest the legs. And these lines can be interrupted a bit. It's nice to leave one of them slightly longer to suggest the movement of the legs while walking. After this, we can add the head with another color to make it more visible. I like to use red or orange. I also like to add a bit of white gouache in some of the color mixes because being opaque will make the figures show up better above the previous watercolor washes. What I mean is that most of the times figures are added close to the end of the painting process, so above other watercolor washes and you need a lot of pigment or opaque pigment to help them pop. The second figure is done in the same way but this time I took a strong pigmented blue. To make the shape of the figures more interesting, I use interrupted lines. I also introduce different colors, maybe a darker color on their lower body. I also try to suggest different objects that they might be carrying, like bags or maybe a suitcase. When sketching figures, think of a situation. Maybe they are coming from a market or maybe they are preparing to travel. Maybe they are busy waiting to cross the street or are just standing and waiting for a friend. Another important thing is to ground the figures, so to paint their shadows. In this case, the sun is coming from top right, so we will have shadows casted on the left side. When sketching figures, think about them as being shapes and they need to be interesting shapes. Also, they need to suggest the impression of a person, not to be a specific person. You can paint more realistic and detailed watercolor figures, but in this exercise we are practicing a more impressionistic and sketchy approach to painting figures with watercolor. The brush I am using is a Winsor & Newton Cotman round watercolor brush. Being a synthetic brush, the tip is easier to control and fits well in painting small shapes like these watercolor figures. A natural hair brush is softer and harder to control. It is better suited for more free and random shapes like maybe clouds or backgrounds. But if you are used to a specific brush, it will be easier for you to paint with that one. In the end, it is also about the dexterity that comes with practice. This figure is also done with lavender and, as you can see, it is one shape only, that has small interruptions of course, but still one shape. It is leaning on the right side a bit and seems to be looking towards something. The head and the arms are done with a warm red I also added a bit of neutral tint on the lower part of the body, in this way suggesting more light on the upper body. Also adding a bit of cobalt turquoise for more color variance.
preparing a mix of raw and burnt sienna to paint the next figure. So, again, starting with a simple shape for the torso. Then, slowly introducing a darker tone, a neutral tint, on the area of the hips, and as the pigment is still wet, extending a few lines to suggest the legs. It is much easier to do this intuitively, with fast and fresh movements. As you can see, there are more than two lines here for the legs, but from distance, it still reads as two legs. This happens because our brain is very used to identify figures. After the body is sketched in place, I am adding the head. Sometimes it's easier to place the head at the end. But if you feel that the shape doesn't read well, try to see if the proportions of the human body that we mentioned at the beginning of the video play well in your sketch. And readjust the sketch until you feel it is good enough. And you can paint figures with any color you like, even though they look nicer if they have around three colors, a main one, a secondary one, and the third one used as an accent. For example, in this figure over here, I'm using a light and a dark brown as the first two colors, and the red is used for accents. I hope you are enjoying this video, and if so, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to this channel. In this way, you will get notified when part 2 is uploaded. If you have further questions or just want to say hi or want to express your opinion on this video, write them in the comment section below. Also, further details about the materials used in this video can be found in the description below. Enjoy the rest of the video! Thank you. 